Well, I'm definitely taking you and you for myself. And I would say Mendoza. In fact, Argentina is all mine. Because I am Argentina. Um, I will, however, give this and this to Chile. Oh, I can't do all that in one go. Hold on. I am playing with player piece. Player led piece. Alright, let's try that again. So I'm taking the whole of Argentina. I'll give you this and Falklands. So there never needs to be another conflict over the Falklands. So the Falklands are going to Chile. And also South Georgia. Oh no, that's me. And that's everything. Done. I took 10 states, Chile took 3. Chile returned red Argentine land. Our allies in Chile returned some of our proper lands to us. Oh! <laughs> they gave me the Falklands of South Georgia. <laughs> Alright then, I guess they didn't want it either. <laughs> Anyway, there we go. Victory is ours. <laughs> no, no, we don't want this. This is cursed land. It just causes wars. <laughs> but yeah, victory is ours. So, Patagon or Paraguay, you are now independent. You're welcome. We are still exploiting the steel mines, but the war is over, so we should be able to proclaim the Argentine Commune soon, and then actually start doing all the recovery. Which will be glorious. We are now up to 25 factories. We are using but a fraction of them. Didn't actually take that much damage during the war either. Uh, more of this, more of this, more of this. And I'm going to stop buying steel. For the time being. Then the next thing I'm going to do... Oh, these are volunteers. Are they going to go home now? Or am I stuck with these two? Because I can't change them. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to split you two out. And make you the Falkland garrison. You can be the coastal garrison. So, who's going to be my defensive general? Victory for the revolution. Finally, after years of planning and waiting in the south, we have successfully defeated the evil government in Buenos Aires and sent them into exile. Now, we have seized the reins of the country, and although much of the population still continues to not believe in us, they will soon. Or else. The revolution has succeeded. No longer are we trapped in Patagonia. We are now the Argentine Commune. Buenos Aires becomes the new capital. We become the Argentine Commune. We gain 250 political power. Ooh. And then we get syndicalist integration, which lasts for 365 days. Oh, which means that consumer goods factories are basically killed. Alright, cool. Declaration of the Argentine Commune. The forces of the Frente Obrero Patagonico have triumphed decisively. We're not Frente. Oh no, Frente Obrero is different, it's not Frente. Have triumphed decisively over Carlos Argentina and seized control of the capital of Buenos Aires. With this victory, the socialists have openly proclaimed the creation of a true Argentine commune and the start of a new age for socialism in South America. 
A number of leading figures in the previous administration, as well as other notables, have been seen fleeing the country by ship. Though most of the nation's population still remains temporarily against the socialist policies, the rise of syndicalist Argentina could upset the delicate balance of regional politics for years to come. A serious victory for socialism. Hunter has game. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. And Big Iron, thank you very much for the bits. Very much appreciate that. <laughs> and apparently my vi my phone was looking up victory for socialism. <laughs> Thanks, Siri. I suddenly heard a voice. I was like, who's... Oh, it's the phone. Gotcha. Um... <laughs> I think we've just determined whose side Syria's on. Uh, infantry officer for you? No, I'm going to give you Reckless. Syria is apparently a communist, yes. Confirmed. Right, so we can now choose different things. I'm going to go Industrial Concern because we definitely want some Misa for the Industrial Research and Factory Construction Speed. We are also going to want, let's see, 1938. The next thing is going to be infantry equipment in 1939. Although we are superior fire... Oh, no, we don't have any artillery. Never mind. And that's going to be it. Uh, we could solidify control, which increases party popularity. Develop cruiser, submarine, dreadnought, and fast battleship technology. Well, that's a lot of stuff. Eight dockyards, eight dockyards. So once we have eight dockyards, we can do that. Improve the Malvinas infrastructure. We'll add infrastructure to the Falklands. Sure, it's free-ish. And now we should start getting a real massive influx of manpower. Maharo, whoa, blimey. Thank you so much for those bits. Very much appreciate that. Really enjoying these streams. I'm very glad to hear that. Thank you. And that's... Absurdly generous, thank you. <laughs> Sirius like, I have Bernie Sanders on hold. Or Jeremy Corbyn, more likely. Siri, you are the chosen one. We are supposed to destroy the syndicalists, not join them. Riots are now major cities. Yeah, this is where all the problems, I suspect, begin. Although we have liberated the northern population from the inequality they were ruled by, much of the population still does not support us. Today, many of the people took to the streets and rioted in many of our larger cities like Mendoza, Cordoba and Buenos Aires. We successfully pacified the rioters, but force was needed and much of the city was left damaged. Damn. So I guess the 12th of June next year is when a lot of that stuff will end. We're going to be losing a little bit more stability. Oh well. Did I gain any in autonomy? Oh, I did. 18 points. A whole 18 points. Oh, land leasing reduces autonomy. Interesting. And apparently I'm exporting a bunch of stuff to them as well. Oil. Siri, is that Apple? Yes. I do have factories now, but not very many of them. And we're still developing up our industrial... In fact, the whole of the north is already done. The south is going to be our industrial heartland. We have far more factories here than we should. Anti-socialist officers launch attack on Buenos Aires. After we were able to defeat the old Argentine government, it's been hard locating all of the ex-military officers that supported the old regime. After we defeated them, many of them went into hiding or left the country and travelled to one of our neighbours. However, it appears they have continued to be active, hiding and planning. Earlier today, a few of these officers launched an attack on Buenos Aires. With the support of the ex-soldiers and using old equipment, they moved onto the outskirts of Buenos Aires and engaged our soldiers who were on patrol. We were forced to send in the army and many died, both civilian and military. The soldiers even used some old artillery and damaged a nearby factory. 
Thankfully, we were able to defeat the rebels and arrest the officers. 3,000 manpower lost. Ouch. Stabilizing the nation. Now that the Argentine nation is once more united and under our enlightened rule, it falls to us to ensure the stability of the nation and to guide our people. As it stands, the nation is plagued by disunity and the remnants of the northern regime hide and attack us from the shadows. If we are to pro properly stabilize the nation, we could see much needed peace and growth. Increase the nation's stability to see positive results. I mean, we are still over 50%. We are about to lose 5%, admittedly. Um, uh, okay. We, we have a couple of ways of doing that. I thought. Steel mines have been exploited. There we go. Repair Argentina. Gain stability plus 8. Although, we are below 50% right now. Uh, which means that we could trigger improved worker conditions. I'm going to suck it up and not have a focus until we hit 100 political power so that I can do that. It'll be worth it, I think. Long term. Still a thousand men short. Baratta Commune declared war on the Dominion of India. We have two support weapons. Oh, level two support weapons, not two of them. Uh, let's go and get... Still researching decryption. We could get concentrated industry. We still don't have that researched. No. I think I want to keep ahead of time in this. Personal uh, improved infantry. Building. Let's do that. Then if we ever get a surplus of equipment, we're going to be in a position to start training a lot more divisions. Wow, that was a quick Chiropact victory. I mean, victory over the Chiropact. CSA is doing quite well against the USA. Uruguay wins the World Cup. We'll have to conquer them so that they can become part of uh, Argentina. Predictably, Uruguay has stormed through the opposition and gained its fifth championship title. The second World Cup title, the Celeste Olympica, defeated the hosts Brazil 2-0 in the final of the record-setting tournament. While being a strong team, the host nation, Uruguay's experienced and talented squad, managed to resist Brazil's valiant efforts and win a goal, win a goal in each half. With their great skill, was recognised by the crowd. What were the recent Ita Italy tutorials called on YouTube? They're not on YouTube yet. They will be as of s Saturday, so tomorrow. Still need to render and upload those tonight, though. Dominican Republic declared war on Haiti. Interesting. Ah, zero manpower. Proper Mordred stream. Yeah. Motorized for field hospitals, eventually. And now the Ottomans are at war with Iran. Barata with the Dominion. Mongolia is losing to the Marklik. Is that because Tibet didn't join? Tibet didn't join. Interesting. That's different. It looks like Kingdom of Spain is winning the civil war at the moment. This could still go either way. Especially as the USA starts pumping out more divisions. Empire of Japan attacked German East Asia. Japan and Germany at war? Well, Germany screwed in the uh, Second World War then because they're going to abandon their front with uh, France. They'll move all of their troops out here. Unfortunate. This is going to be a very easy game for the uh, syndicalists now. Plus, you know, I'm I'm on their side. Okay, let's improve the worker conditions.
which will beef up our stability and then we can also take repair Argentina. Argentina has suffered greatly during the Revolutionary War. Farms have been burnt down, railways destroyed, roads rendered useless and cities bombed. Now that peace has officially returned to the plains of Argentina, it's time to repair the damage caused by the war. Do I have a focus for restoring the country? I have several. I'm doing it right now. Chile have cancelled their lend lease. Aww. We've actually almost made it back to normality. One of the mountaineers took an absolute hammering, so let's start you training again. Let's start you two training. Okay. And we are repairing those Buenos Aires factories. Let's do that first. How do you annex? Uh, you take stuff in a peace deal. And yes, I could support the CSA if I had the political power for it. Oh no, if I had the guns for it. If I had 2,000 guns, then I could send them to the CSA. I don't think I want to, though. Otherwise, this game will become too easy. If I could support Soviet Russia, I would do that instead. Just so that these guys have some orders. We can decide what to do after that, after this. South African revolt declared war on the Union of South Africa. And so the South Africa war begins. With a recent victory in the South African 1938 elections, the National Party under President James Herzog were confident it would implement its sweeping changes in the country's system of racial segregation, which they call apartheid, regardless of the protests from the more British-leaning provinces of Natal and the Cape. Planning to liberate some more. Yeah, but I'm going to do it via focuses because we do get a bunch. And, ah, there's another research slot. Ah. And a bunch of stability. Like, a bunch of stability. Okay, we should probably do these first. This is also how you core the rest of Argentina. Which I hadn't realised I hadn't actually done yet. So let's finish repairing them. And then we'll do victory for socialism. Which is more important than these. Although this also gets a bunch of stability. We'll be at 100 stability in no time. I have a feeling that the Argentine commune is actually going to be really powerful. And we have positive manpower for the first time. And positive guns! Huzzah! Let's start producing some more guard infantry. Uh, I want 20 of them total. Lots and lots of little units, then I can have lots and lots of commandos. I think I'll be using the commandos as my primary punching force. Might actually add like medium tanks or something to them. Repair Argentina. Maybe even heavy tanks. Well, it depends on the chromium. The counter-revolutionary regime in Buenos Aires has been defeated, and the workers of the All-Argentina have finally been liberated. The revolution has arrived in La Plata. This victory is a small step for Argentina, but a large step for the world revolution. Nice use of that. Orange Army General looks like he's taking a mugshot. He does a bit, doesn't he? Anyway, I'm going to go and take a quick two-minute break. So if you need to take a break yourselves, then I would recommend that this is a good time to do so. And we shall resume two minutes. So just two minutes. I'll be running an advert again because I'm not here. All right, I am back again. Let's switch this over to Hearts of Iron once more. Let me just double check that the advert's actually finished. It is. Cool. Right. Onwards. Seguro que sí. 
Unit is still in training. Are there any other decisions for us to do? No. Right, the other benefit of building up a bunch of troops as we are trying to do here is that we would then be able to send volunteers abroad. Okay, so what resources does Argentina have? We have a lot of tungsten, which is going to mean a lot of artillery. So being superior firepower is a very good thing. We have a fair bit of steel and then also oil. So medium tanks could well be the way to go. Medium tanks with artillery and infantry support, perhaps. Using them kind of like artillery. Uh, kind of like um, heavy tanks. Alright, let's get decryption. 38 tech. Bolivia has oil too. Yes, it does. And more tungsten. And then Brazil, of course, has rubber. But Peru has oil. Peru has quite a few resources. So what government is Chile? Syndicalist. Now I now completely dwarf them in terms of industrial power. I'm a little bit surprised... Oh, right. I don't have the cores yet. Never mind. I was going to say I'm a little bit surprised I'm not getting more manpower than we have so far, but why would I? Okay, decision time. Dispersed or integrated? So we were initially planning to go integrated... But we might actually want to go disperse now. Because we have so much tungsten. I think I'm going to go dispersed. And we'll start adding line artillery to our units. Now, am I going to be able to add... anything to you? It would have to be something like... It's the old 4-4 formation. I remember these guys. Terrible organization, though, is the problem. I don't think I can afford that poor organization. What I'm thinking, then, is maybe something like that. The organization is still not great, so maybe that. With this being medium tanks, not light tanks. I'm just using that as a placeholder. 49 organization, which is acceptable. Decent soft attack, decent defense. Breakthrough, and then we also will have armor. I mean, it would be even better if we could use these for uh, with heavy tanks. Is there anyone in our area that has chromium? No. There's a ton of oil up here too. It's Venezuela. Um, middle does. Cuba does. Or if we went off to South Africa, they do. South Africa is actually closer to us than Cuba is.
plus, you know, more similar climate. Any place with chromium are Cuba, South Africa, Turkey, and Greece, and Central America. They don't have a huge amount of it, but they do have some. And the USA has a tiny bit. Canada doesn't. Britain has a tiny bit. Germany has a tiny bit. Norway has a tiny bit. Sweden has a bunch. Russia has a bunch. Alash Order have a bunch. China has some. Japan also does. There's a couple of places around that have it. But I'm thinking maybe an attack on South Africa. So basically we would want the Union of South Africa to win this. Chances of that. 17 divisions against 11. Two factories against five. Yeah, Union of South Africa should win this fairly easily. And then once they're done with that, we can just go and declare war on them. Faced out for a while playing E4. Have I broken free from Chile? No, not yet. We just became the Argentine Commune after winning the Civil War. In fact, we may as well speed five this again. As we slowly but surely build up our armed forces once more. Or for the first time, as I should really say. Yeah, we're going to want to get all of the Victory for Socialism bonuses. Uh, 28 percent stability 33 percent stability 33 percent stability from just finishing the triangle and we're already at 57 and we still have the uh, workers rights thing happening the Phalansteers Assistance arrives. As part of the Phalansteer International Programme, a comrade in Paris and London had delivered us much needed help. Industrial machines, mining equipment, weapons, ammunition and more. All of this being up unloaded in our ports and airports and being transported across the country. Even more stability! <laughs> We're going to be horrifically stable. Like a very strong economy, I suspect. Victory for socialism. Let's go and get... Destroy Carlos's support. Although we need to be careful that we don't build up our stability too much while worker conditions are still running, because it will stop if we hit 75. So actually, with that in mind, we should probably... I'll get to 66. I think you just get like 11% stability from improved worker conditions. So we're probably okay if we do it first. Well, let's do this. Much of the population in northern Argentina is still unfamiliar with syndicalism. However, it is certain that our ideology will find great support under all of those who know about it. Let's promote syndicalism throughout Argentina. And we have our fourth research slot. Which could now be used for concentrated or dispersed. 